the Chow Chin Chow, Sun Chin Chow here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Infinity Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it right here to Echo Rock Town. And we talked to the people around Echo Rock Town. And today, I guess, we're going to talk to Jarrett again because I accidentally did that during off screen. So I guess we're going to be talking to Jarrett again. I came to Echo Rock Town to enjoy the festival. S uh, although. So, I've only got one Pokemon that, uh, that's brought me here. I suppose I can battle if you like. So, basically, I talked to him and he said, Yes, I am the one who gives away the... Uh, who, uh, who allows you to fly. I can say no. Very well. Yes, I am the Echo Elder and I award HM licenses to worthy applicants. Okay. So that's what he says. I suppose I can battle if you like. Sure. All right, let's make it quick. I got festivities to ask him. All right, let's face him. Our first gym leader. Echo Rock Elder Jarrett. You have two Pokemon. You lie. You lie, Jarrett. You have two Pokemon. You said you only have one. Bulldoze. Damn, that's power! Uh, I'm gonna Icicle Spear you. Stealth Fox, okay. Interesting. You're ground and flying, so this is quite effective on you. Hopefully, if I hit five times, you might lose. Yeah, I hit five times! Awesome! Okay, what is your ace? Lizzie grows to level 20. Lizzie is trying to learn Fury Swipes. Uh, sure, get rid of Tail Whip. Manella is growing to level 19. Roxy is growing to level 19. A Fero. Level 21! I mean, you're you're quite fast. You're a Fero. You don't need to be any faster. You're a Fero. Pharaohs are like the fastest Pokemon in the game. I only hit twice. Flacade! Okay. I might need to heal. Unless I can hit more. I only hit three times. I need to heal. I mean, how much... I don't know how much damage a flacade would do. I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal. See, I don't know who would take the hit. Oh, you you healed too. You healed too. So this makes me feel better about me healing. Okay, flacade. This would do more damage if you were paralyzed, but you're not paralyzed or, or poisoned. So I don't want to... I don't want to switch into anyone that has paralysis or poison because that is a pr that would be a legitimate problem. Problem is, it does a lot of damage. Is there anyone else who could do... I mean, there's Stealth Rocks in play, though. Who has the best defense? Okay, so what... So, 46, 33, 30... 36, 29. You are the Pokemon with the most defense. You are the Pokemon with the most defense. Shelly, you are the Pokemon with the most defense. You are the best Pokemon to take these hits. I take that. Oh! <gasps> lived on free! I lived on free! I lived on free! Come on, do more! Come on, do more! Come on, level one! Yes! We took down the Fero! We beat the first gym leader! No disgrace to level 20. You got level 21 there too. Nice job, kid. 
Those were panic plays. I was not sure Shelly was going to live. Splendid. It looks like you're off uh, to a good start. I suppose I can award you with the quill, ba with the quill badge. You are lucky that uh, I always carry a few extra on me. I received the quill badge. This badge will allow you to fly around the region, but it only it's only to places you have visited. If uh, it's uh, if it's more badges you seek, you'll have to challenge the Echo Elders. One of them lives here in this town, but will not be taking battles during the festival. Oh, so I can get two badges? Speaking of which, if you'd like to return my attentions to the events at hand, if you, you'd like to challenge more battles, please seek out uh, Hayesport City. The Kalos Festival has concluded. After the Kalos Festival has concluded. Okay. I mean, I got my... Badge, I'm a happy person. I'm gonna heal now. So he said Hayesport City. Where's Hayesport City? Uh Ah, that's Hayesport City. That's the big, like the that must be like the big hub city of this game. You know, with the big martyrs and everything. Because usually that's where like the big city would be. Okay. Okay. Can I not be part of the festival? Because I want to see the festival. Yeah, I don't think I can be... I don't think there's anything I can do here anymore. I guess I'll deposit one of my Pokemon in the PC. You sit in the PC for the moment, uh, Roxy. And I guess we got to bring out Becky. Who we caught in the last episode. Give Becky Fly. And then fly away? Because I don't think I can do anything here anymore. I'll get rid of Foresight. Because I don't think it's going to be that useful to me. There you go. Now I know Fly. Right. I guess I'll Fly then. Because I don't really know, actually know what else I'm supposed to be doing here. Fly. Can I fly to Fawn Slab? Oh, wait, you're outside now. Why are you outside? Hey, mate. Ah, there you are, kid. You have good timing. Uh, did you have a good time in Echo Rock? Fancy... Yeah, you've got a badge. You've got a fancy badge, I bet. Very cool. So proud of you. Anyways, um, I'm... On to more important things. Wormwood told me that they found you in Gin in Genesis Forest. That's a little bit southeast of Hados Town. You know, uh, that town mm, that Wormwood brought you to, it has uh, the aroma of dry hair. Ha uh, dry hay. I was going to say, dry hair doesn't really have an aroma. <laughs> anyway, dry hair. Ha Hard to forget, I think. Right. So... Head to the forest and see if that jars any memories loose. That's uh, the short-term plan. The long-term plan is going to take uh, a little more planning. As uh, 
of right now, you want to focus on getting uh, getting those badges. Without badges, we will. Uh, without the badges, we will be restricted on where you can go and how far my plan is going to require you to run um, errands for us. Yes. You see, I believe I can help restore your memories, but in order to do that, my machines will need specific energy sources. After the Chaos Festival in Echo Rock Town is done, you'll be able to challenge their leader for another badge. Uh, those energy sources can be found in a few places in Echo, but you'll need badges in order to reach those places. I don't want to muddy your objective, so I'll just leave that I'll just leave that to you. If you head south of Hados Town and loop back around to Echo Rock Town uh, to Echo Rock Town, that should be enough, yeah. Um so well enough time for the festival to be over plus like i said before those places you haven't uh, you've visited are more likely to uh, your memory may recover unfortunately this may take a bit longer than anticipated just bear with me i'm confident that the plan thus far will uh, be prove effective we're going to have to play a, a long game. I'm uh, going to keep preparing equipment once you get the badge from Echo Rock. Let me know. All right. I guess we'll go to the next town, which is going to be back to Hados Town. All right, Becky, I guess you're staying with me for the moment in time. So we need to go back to Hados Town, and then we need to find the Genesis Forest. I guess that's where we need to go. And then we go back on the Amber Trail to... Oh. Maybe we go through the Righteous Cemetery? R Ridestone Cemetery? To Rolling Ridge? And then back to Echo Rock that way? Maybe we can go to the Pokan Trail there? Uh, Pokan uh, Heights as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see what we can go. But right now, we need to go to Hados Town. So let's do that. Do I have a PC here? No, I don't have a PC here. But I can rest. I can rest. Okay. Then I will rest. I don't have Surf, so I can't go and get that. Can I go and see Professor Wormwood? Ah... You've decided to collect badges from the Echo Elders. A fine idea and a classic one for trainers like yourself. That desire for competition to push you far. I have... Uh, I hope you are having luck uh, working with Professor Fawn. I know they can be a tad eccentric. I hope you're being uh, been using Fly, the move I gave you. It makes Pokemon travel around Echo a lot easier. Yes, I have been using Fly. Can I go up here? Okay, so this is. Uh, I'm guessing this is Fawn's bedroom. No, <laughs> no. This is the bedroom. It's a note from Silco. Uh, it's a note with Silco printed on it. Read it. Yeah. 
Dear Professor Wormwood, we have received your request for introductory Pokemon uh, trainer package and have submitted it uh, submitted it for processing. As soon as our Poke as soon as our offices have confirmed the order, our field agents will be dispersed to catch uh, the requested amount of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle and have them promptly humanely. Uh, shipped to you. Estimated delivery will be between 6 to 12 weeks. You will be notified of any changes to your order. Best regards, Silvco. Okay. I mean, something did happen to those Bulbasaur, Charmanders and Squirtles because, you know, they're completely different to the Bulbasaur, Charmanders and Squirtles those that we normally would have. You know. Can I go down here now? I guess I can go down here now. You have a ferret. Level 19? I mean, the game's getting hard again. But you only have one Pokemon, so I'm not worried. Those singular trainers are the ones that are going to have the most levels. That's usually how it works. So at this moment in time, I'm not as worried as uh, I should be. I got crit. This goes to level 21. Minella goes to level 20. Right, can I get in the grass here? No. Oh, I thought that'd be a, a way to get an encounter for Hados Town, but sadly not. Hayfield Path. Okay, well, battle you then. Radicate. Okay, I can handle Eradicate. I mean, I probably should switch into somebody else to uh, handle this since Tom is quite leveled up now. Hyper Fang. I lived on one. Okay, bye bye. Push you. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's Tom dead. Leah. I want to learn Leah. Watchhog. Well, damn. I probably just. I probably should have just healed. I would have been fine. Tom. You were good. I was good too with Tom on my hat. With Tom on my team. I was good. Pidgeotto. Nutters. He got a crit though. I'm annoyed, but I'm okay. I'm annoyed, but I'm okay. I like Tom though. I will admit, I like Tom. Thanks, Nudus. Uh, Swift. Okay, I guess you can learn Swift. I uh, don't really need it. I guess I'm going to get rid of Bide. Okay. Becky grows done. Reflect. Uh, do I want Reflect? I mean, it would boost my... No, I'm going to get rid of Peck. I have Fly. It's a better move. There's a ranch here? Hello. I'm looking for a Machook. Want to trade for my Haunter? No. Alright. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to fly back to a town with a PC because... Um, 
I gotta bury Tom. Yeah, let's go to Sea Ridge Town. Let's go to Sea Ridge Town. Tom, you were amazing. I'm sorry, but you have to join. You have to go into the hell box now. Well, I guess I gotta withdraw uh, Roxy. Roxy can come back with me. Heal me, please. And we'll continue on. I guess Becky gets a permanent position on the team now? Yeah, I guess Becky gets a permanent position on the team. For the moment in time, you were just going to be someone who flew me round, but like... I think I'm going to probably take Becky as a hoot hoot. And we'll evolve it into a knockdown and we'll keep using it. So where do we need to go? So we need to go to the Hayfield Pato and into the Genesis Forest. So that's where we need to go. So that'd be this way. Grip claw, nice, I will take. I mean, can we go that way? My encounter for this uh, the Hayfield path is a machop is a Mareep. It's a Mareep sheep. Scratch it. Okay, I'm not hitting you again. I'm not hitting you again. I am throwing a ball that is great, and we are getting out of here because I want this Mareep sheep. Get in here. One, two, three. Yes, we caught a Mareep sheep. All right. If I didn't have nutters, I would definitely take you up because I love Mareep sheep. I love Flaffy. I love Ampharos. It's a very good. It's a very good Pokemon, and we're going to call you Power Cut. Cool. Heading off to the ocean. I would like to, if I'm allowed. You have, you have quite a few Pokemon. I can poison sting you. Leech seed. Okay, that's fine. This might be our last part of this episode. Because we've gone about 23 minutes, so. Nice! Good work, Lizzie. Do duo. Nutters! Spark. Nice. Snubble. I mean, do you, you know what? Manella. Let's use Manella here. Flame wheel. I'm trying to spread my experience around. It's working pretty nicely. I mean, I will admit I'm quite over-leveled at this moment in time, but I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, you're learning Flame Charge. Uh, uh, that's better than Ember. I'll take it. Okay, you've gained experience. Mareep Sheep. I mean, I have nothing for Mareep Sheep, so... You know what? Minelli, you can stay in and use Flame Wheel. And that should do some decent damage to Mareep Sheep. Kills the Mareep Sheep. Nice. We beat Youngster Earl. Cool. I can't smash these rocks. Alright, so what would have been my grass encounter for this episode? 
A far-fetched. Okay. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty happy that I... I, I mean, it depends on whether Sir Fetched is in this game. I will admit, I don't think Sir Fetched would be in this game. Because I'm guessing this game was made before... Uh, I mean, I don't think it was made before Sword and Shield. I think probably, the, the, you know, they probably haven't programmed in the sprites for, uh, for it, so... That's probably what I'm going to say. I don't think this game was made before Sword and Shield. I just don't think they probably... I don't know if the sprites are in the Pokemon Essentials kit yet. That's all. So that's my reasoning for why I don't think it's in the game just yet. And I mean, I don't know personally, but we'll have to wait and see. That's battle year. Farmer Liv. Farmer Liv has a Marit Sheep. I mean, I have nothing for Marit Sheep. I guess I'll double kick it. Just need to not bring in Y. Uh, not bringing in Ys, that's all. I mean, Becky. I'm so used to calling my mock tiles Ys because it's a wise old owl. But, you know, I called it Becky this time. Yeah, that's what I usually call my uh, my. Uh... Yeah, I usually call my Noctowls wise. It's not a Noctowl yet, but it will be a Noctowl. I will evolve it into Noctowl. Ooh, I got paralyzed, but I did. I did take down the Barib Sheep. Level twenty. Level twenty-three wants to bite. Sure. There we go. Uh, Beniri. Uh, Beniri's not going to have jump kick yet. Go, Roxy. Right? Famous last words. Bite him. Ooh, frustration. Okay, you don't hate your trainer that much. That's fine. That's good, actually. Uh, oh, there is stairs here. Hey, mate. Farming takes precedence. A lot of the time we confuse difficulty uh, with compensation of time. Uh, consumption of time. Things that appear hard are actually quite easy. They just only take time. That's mostly true, actually. You know, things you considered hard might actually be rather easy. You just gotta put the work in and, uh, well, do it, you know? Hayfield Plateau is this way. This is the Hayfield Plateau. I can get any, I can get a new encounter here. Oh, there's Tauros. I want a Tauros. I want Red Bull. Pursuit. I'm not considering switching out because you have Pursuit now. I know that you have Pursuit. I'm definitely not considering switching out. Whoa, your rage is building. Okay, I, I probably should heal. There you go, fresh water. I don't like you using rage. Because it means your rage will build and it means your attack's going to get higher and higher every time I hit you. And it could be more dangerous than you think. I mean... Do you have Pokemon I would consider using an Ultra Ball on? You don't even bounce. Level... I went down to 22 health. Heal. Uh, 
Uh, would you like a ball? It's great. Come on. Come with me. Please come with me, Tauros. You don't even bounce. I don't even know what I could do to make you bounce because you have rage and three plus two. That was a crit. On attack. I should have healed. No. Well, GG. I don't get to use this boat. I don't get to use my Lizzie, and I'm, I don't even know if I want. Now you have to come with me. It's as simple as that. Now I've lost Lizzie, you have to come with me. Like, you have to come with me. It's the only way. You've literally killed a Pokemon to, to come with me. You're not coming with me, are you? Would you stop critting me? He's not coming with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to lose. Oh, he does so much damage with Horn Attack. Okay, he didn't crit me that time. Nudders. Okay, he's in the red. He's in the red. I'm gonna throw another Ultra Ball. He's probably gonna horn attack, it's gonna hurt. And it's gonna kill, isn't it? Rage. I should I should heal. I should heal. I should heal. I should heal. Okay, healed. I am scared of this Tauros now. If only I had static. One. Come on, Tauros. If only I had static. Just get in the ball, Tauros. No. I lived on 10. He has pursuit. I can't switch out. See, that's going to hurt so much if he do if I decided to switch. I can't do it. I just can't switch. 1 2 3 Yes! I hate... I am kind of annoyed that Tauros decided to kill one of my mons in order to come with me, but like... It is what it is. Lizzie, I'm really sorry. I had a Nido Ran male and a Nido Ran female, and I was going to have a Nido King and a Nido Queen. Now I have none of those things. I lost them both in the same episode. Oh. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go and grind and sort, ev uh, sort this team out, I guess. And we'll have to figure. I'll have to figure out what I want to do. I mean, maybe Roman Reigns would be a good idea because we don't have a fighting type. Maybe that would be a good idea for the team. Although, maybe Lisa would be a good idea for the team. Although, Red Bull's a... Red Bull is 
like power. And it's got great defense and good, decent attack too. You know what, Red Bull, you're coming with me. I'll figure all this out in the next. I'll figure all this out in between episodes, and on Sunday's episode, we'll uh, figure all this out. Anyway, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody, get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe and I will see you next time.